Recently we've been struggling to find time to film these vlogs, let alone find some time for ourselves. So today, that's going to change. So we're finally here at Nottingham Castle. It's been a while since we've been here, must be a good few years since we visited. And since then it's had some construction, about a year's worth of reconstruction and restoration. And it's really gonna be quite exciting just to see what changes there are. And the view here is always beautiful and we've got such nice weather for it today. So let's go. These little sort of gargoyle lion things look like they've heard something scandalous. They're going, <gasps> no way. Excellent impression. You would make a great gargoyle. Love you. So this is what Nottingham Castle used to look like, but not so much today. So the one thing about Nottingham Castle is it sits on a big hill and the views from here are amazing. Unfortunately for Megan, she doesn't like heights very much. So it's a bit of a nerve wracking experience for her, bless her. Do you want to come and have a look, Megs? If I can't see over the wall, the height doesn't exist. <laughs> it does though. It doesn't though. It's very, very, very high. No, 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 no. It doesn't exist if I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. A very nervous Megan in an unnatural habitat. See, you think this is funny. I think this is nerve wracking. I'm, I'm proud of you for taking a photo and being brave enough to. I feel my heart coming out of my chest right now. Just don't fall. That's not funny. One thing that you might be surprised about when you come to visit Nottingham Castle is, broadly speaking, the castle doesn't exist anymore. And instead there's this palace, this really grand building. It's a bit like a old country home really on top of the hill. So there's a bit of a theme emerging for all of our trips to castles. You come to Nottingham Castle and you come visit the Dusau Palace. You go to Elveston Castle and you visit a stately home. Link in the description below if you want to see that vlog. It's all a bit confusing, I have to say. And here's a nice little art gallery. This is the castle that we remember. Picnics, music, and games. Not socially distancing, are they? <laughs> She's a bit of chatterbox, isn't she? Chatterbox. You've been a chatterbox. You are. You've been a chatterbox. You're inside. You would think it's a museum and not a castle, but I suppose that's kind of what these castles are supposed to do these days. Just educate through museuming. <laughs> educate through museuming. Museuming. So you're, you're, look it up. You have a wonderful way of words. So me and Megan are having a bit of a debate. Last time we came here, apparently this Robin Hood experience was something that we went to. I can't quite remember. Yeah. Definitely did because it was sort of a darker, more colourful, but also more colourful experience. And there was all different facts about Robin Hood, including when the Disney Robin Hood film came out and there was loads of costumes that kids could try on. One, uh, thing, one thing is for certain though, Eloise has never done it. I don't know, I think she's in agreement with me from the sounds of it. So the Robin Hood experience was a 25 or so minute session. So we walk in and there is a 360 degree cinema experience detailing the life, times and death of Robin Hood. Eloise got a really good chance to walk around the 360 degree cinema in that time. And then after that, there was a chance to play some interactive games, uh, interactive quarterstaff and archery. Those bits I really quite liked. I liked the interactive VR. I wasn't so sure about the tabletop games though. I didn't think they did much for me. Personally, I was a little bit disappointed with it if I have to be honest. The real thing that you want to know though is who is right about the Robin Hood experience? I mean, it might have been you. I'm never right about anything, so I've got to make the most of it. We thought we'd try the food here. I had a club sandwich and Megan had a Caesar salad. And actually, really, really good. 
If you ever come to the castle, I definitely recommend stopping in the cafe within the the palace, not the castle. This is the Terence Cafe. I've said it already, but the view is really beautiful here. See the university, you can see Didcot Power Station, and it's just a lovely day. When we got your hat, it's Robin Hood. Ah, oh, good day to you, fair lady. Look, mummy looks like the duck. Duck? Mummy looks like the duck. Isn't that a pretty ducky? Is that Robin Hood ducky? Thank you to mummy for buying it to you. Bread, he steals bread from the rich and gives it to the poor. So Robin Hood, what's your review of the day? It's been a good day I think. I um, got to see round Nottingham Castle, some beautiful grounds overlooking the city and the rest of Nottinghamshire. Saw some really interesting artwork and sculptures and, and it was an interesting interactive experience all about me which was fantastic. Quack, quack, we're smiling now, aren't we? Are we smiling now? Mummy saves the day as always. Hello. Is she feeling better now, Mummy? Um, she's quiet. Do you like your duck, Eloise? Yeah. Uh, uh.